Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back for another ASMR video. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. So for the holidays, I received this really awesome uh, gift box here. As you can see, it's uh, from Japan. And uh, it says premium Japanese snacks. So, um, it's actually not sponsored or anything like that, but the snacks were so tasty I, I thought that the crinkles and everything would make for a really good unboxing video. So, we're gonna unbox them. Now, a little bit of a closer look. And, uh, I won't be able to read the text most likely, uh, but if I can, I'll, I'll do my best. But, Again, I think the sound should be pretty good. So why don't we go ahead and take this, bring it over to my table over here, we can zoom in, take a little bit of a closer look, and go from there. All right, sounds great, let's go. Hey there. Welcome back to another ASMR video. Today, we're going to be looking at this box. This is called a boxu, and it's a um, brand that delivers Japanese treats into the United States. This isn't a sponsored video in any way, but I received this as a gift and I thought that there would be some good sounds. So, why don't we open this box and see what's inside? So, let's see this here. It says premium Japanese snack. Uh, something here it says. Discover Japan through snacks. Classic box. So, the first thing we can see here is this book. This book is uh, the seasons of Japan. Baksu Culture Guide. And, um, it looks like here we can see it describe some of the different treats inside. Gonna go through this and our treats inside. So, as you can see, these treats do come from all over Hiroshima, Kyoto, Nagano, Saitama. Tokyo, Okinawa, Osaka, Nakanagawa, Aichi, Komoto, Totori, Nikata, Elmori. So, let's go ahead and look through this in more detail. Okay, so, let's open this up. It says, Welcome to Baksu. gonna just 
just flip through this and read through some of the different treats inside. So it looks like it's based on seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. We've got the, I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce some of these, but Mojan Dango Mochi. We've got a stick potato, Supa Mucho Plum. We've got 20th Century Pear Language Language. White strawberry. Edamame senbei. Seaweed tempura. Yuzo sake candy. Handmade. Don Don Yaki. Mini red bean crackers. Matcha chocolate stick. Cake. We've got black sesame taiko. Kumamon design. Aomori Apple Caramel Yakoi Sable. We have Funuari Majin Mochi Puffs Kinako. We have Ashigara Green Tea Aranami Kurofuji. Puku Puku Thai Chocolate. Uno rice cracker. We went through this map a little earlier. These are some of the different candy makers or some photos of them. It's the box you market here. And the founder. So let's go ahead and Take a look at this box and see what kind of treats we can find as we will try to match them to the list the best that we can. So, here we go. Okay, so let's open this box here. Okay, so we've got our first item here, which is this. It's a Aomori apple caramel. It's a cookie that's uh, made with apples. And that area, I believe it says, is uh, Japan's apple prefecture, which is it's that they uh, used fresh produce, of course, when making this. So looks really good. Let's go ahead and open it up. Cookie sort of flew. But uh, let's have half of it here. Just sort of, it's very soft. Kind of has a nice apple flavor. It's really good. Okay, now let's move on to the next. This one, it looks like it is the kale chips, but let's just double check our seaweed chips. Let's see if we can find it in our booklet here. Here it is. This is the seaweed tempura satuchi sudachi. So it says, 
they're just, uh, seaweed sheets that are battered, fried, and flavored with sudachi citrus. So that looks delicious. We'll go ahead and put that down. So we can uh, save that one to open later. Next, we've got the These are, we can find them in the, uh, it looks like the Don Don Yaki, but let me just double check here. Put this down for a second, and we'll look through our book here. So we've got, again, we can just scroll through here. Um, it doesn't look, um, that does look pretty close to it. So, as I was saying, this is the Fumari Machin Mochi Puffs. I can open this and see what they look like. And this is it right here. It looks almost like a Cheeto, but I think it's going to be like sweet with a soy base. So let's drink a bite of this. It's so good. It's almost like a nutty, crunchy, sort of melt-in-your-mouth flavor. It's really delicious. Definitely recommend that one. That one was delicious. So now let's move on to the next one here. We've got this one here. It says a mate. So let's go ahead and look up our fish treat. It's right there. It says puku puku dai chocolate. This is uh, Thai is a red snapper, and it is associated with New Year's celebrations. So that's the perfect timing. And this is uh, a snack that is chocolate mousse with two mochi wafers. Looks really good. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So here we've got the uh, wafer, and um, let's go ahead and actually if we can zoom in on that. Let me uh, break this in half so we can see what it looks like here. some sort of bean paste here. Let's take a bite of it. It's actually just completely chocolate mousse. It's absolutely delicious as well. It's great. Okay, now let's move on to our next one. Okay. Next we have our um, cracker here. And looks like it has black sesame. You can go ahead and Let's grab our book. You can see it here. It says it is a black sesame taiko kumamon design. It's a CD drum that's made in Kumamoto, home of Kumamon, and they make it by roasting almonds and sesame seeds and mixing them with misuame, a sugar syrup, and then hand press into discs. So it's a nice nutty snack. Let's go ahead and... Looks delicious. And this is another card here. I thank you. It is very hard to actually get delicious Japanese snacks, so that is great that they decided to do this here. Okay, we've got another one here. Let's see if we can find it in our box here. It's a golden wrapper. 
Okay, so that one, this golden one, you can see it on our book here. It says, uh, Edamame Senbe, made with a summer harvested edamame bits baked into the cracker. And it is sprinkled with kanaka, which is again a roasted soybean powder. from the Ashigata district of Kakone. When picked, Ashigata tea is also lightly steamed in a process called asamoji that makes a light colored aromatic tea. So that sounds very delicious. Unfortunately, we won't be able to brew any here today, but it does make some nice crinkly sounds. Looks like some sort of cracker has some interesting packaging. I'm just flipping through this book here. And I believe I found the right page, so I'll put this, set this down here. And just, that's the Don Don Yagi. It's named after the sound of the beating taiko drums heard throughout festivals of Japan. They're fried and marinated in uh, Tonkatsu sauce for a flavor that is tangy, peppery, and a little sweet. Let's see this here. All right, now we've got. Looks to be another one of the. This white strawberry, which I saw here, and I'll flip to it here. It says, This is the world's first chocolate infused strawberry. Strawberries are harvested, freeze dried, and infused with white chocolate, and cooled fried chocolate with all the flavor of a fresh strawberry. So let's open that up, see what that looks like. That sounds really interesting. It looks just like a strawberry here. If I can get a close-up of that. It's 
go ahead and take a bite of it and see what it tastes like. So that might have been my favorite so far. That was like a white chocolate. Um, just it, it does have a slight strawberry flavor. So that's cool. There's more of the Don, Don snacks there. We have a, looks like some sort of mochi bread. Let's see if we can find that one on the list. right here. And I'm going to hold it up here. This is a matcha chocolate stick cake. And this soft cake uses matcha from Uchi Kyoto, which is known for its high quality matcha. It's just pairing earthy matcha with bittersweet chocolate chips gives this cake a rich, subtly sweet flavor. Put this here. out here. This is, looks delicious. It's a pear fromage biscuit. Totori, the 20th century pear. So this one looks really good. Open that one up. It looks like just a little biscuit. A little pear biscuit with a little cream. Let's take a bite of that. Let's see if we can find a description about of this cookie in the book here. Okay, so we found it here. And uh, this cookie, which I've taken a bite of because it's so good, is a 20th century pear languide chat. This delicate biscuit is a luxurious blend of 20th century apple pear, rich cheese, and decadent white chocolate. And you can definitely get that uh, cheese flavor as well, especially. Okay, so these are the last two. We've got these. Stick potato. Super mucho plum. And uh, let's read what the book says about this. It says... Like an ode to the Japanese plum tree, every bite of these thin, crispy potato sticks carries the floral notes of plum blossoms, the sourness of umeboshi, which is pickled plum, and the earthiness of shiso, which is perea leaves. So let's see what those look like. Sort of open it underneath because it was a bit difficult, but looks like little potato sticks. Let's try one. Interesting. They're almost like yes, yeah, sour, sweet and sour potato chips or crisps. So let's check out this last one we have here. I'll move this to the side. And this is the... This is the Mochan Dango Mochi. Hanami Dango is a variety of sticky rice dumplings commonly enjoyed during the spring Hanami, the flower viewing season. This trio of dango is covered in sugar and color in the traditional pink, white, and green. So we'll go ahead and open up one of those. And we have this here. I'll see if you can see that. It's like a very uh, pink, sugar-coated mochi. Let's take a bite of that. It's almost like the coating of mo 
emoji in a little ball with little sugar coatings. It's really good. So that's actually all of the snacks we have in our Boxu box. I want to show the box one more time here because it is a beautiful orange color. And this is it right here. So that all said, thank you so much for watching. And I really hope that you have a great New Year's. And I hope you enjoyed this exploration of Japanese snacks. Have a good one.